Good morning, guys, and happy Wednesday. Now, all this week, as pastors, we are focusing on the topic of apathy. Jason and Brooks have both hit on some great points from Revelation and from 2 Peter. So go back and watch those on our YouTube channel if you haven't already seen them. Uh, we all have something that we are apathetic towards in, in life. And the real danger is when we allow our faith to be that thing that we are apathetic towards. When our pursuit of Jesus stops being out of adoration of him and becomes a system we follow, we have strayed into spiritual apathy. Guys, we haven't always lived in Savannah, right? I grew up in Myrtle Beach and then I lived for years in the upstate of South Carolina. And one of the things that we were most in love with when we visited Savannah to interview here at FBCI were the views. Now, the historical city coming over the Talmadge Bridge for the first time was beautiful. The marshes as we drove out to Wilmington Island, and then even the drive out at Tybee, man, it was just gorgeous. Now, I grew up at the beach, but this view is so very different. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. It's almost inspirational in itself. How many of us drove right past all those things today and didn't even notice? We were too consumed with the meeting that we were driving to or the crazy afternoon after picking up the kids from school and getting all the practices. It's funny how such a beautiful thing can become so mundane because of our continued exposure to it. We have to stop and remind ourselves just how beautiful it is around here sometimes to keep from taking it for granted. Now, guys, we do the exact same thing in our spiritual lives as well. We have been given the most beautiful and meaningful gift in our salvation, but as we experience it over the years, we start to kind of overlook the beauty and the enormity of what Jesus did for each one of us. The same scripture that we have read a hundred times over and we talk about all the time, it starts to sound less powerful. Not that scripture loses power, we just get kind of bored with it. The songs we sing in worship become a chorus we repeat with no real heart connection to the words or to the God that we're singing them to. And that is the danger of spiritual apathy. We allow our familiarity with our faith to lead us into apathy. We can't let that stand, guys. We need to look at our faith with a fresh set of eyes each and every day. We need to remind ourselves of the sacrifice made on our behalf daily, of the grace that makes up for our mistakes daily. And guys, that's how we overcome apathy. In Psalm 63, David wrote this amazing reminder for us of just how amazing our God is. And I wanna share that with you guys before we close out today. Psalm 63, one starts with this. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory because your steadfast love is better than my life. My lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live in your name. I will lift up my hands. Guys, write down part of this psalm on a post-it and stick it on your steering wheel this week. And when you're going over the new bridge or over the Thunderbolt Bridge and you look out and see this gorgeous view, take in the beauty that's around us and then remember to appreciate the beauty in our salvation as well. Don't let the familiarity of it lead you into apathy, guys. Have a great rest of your week and we'll see you all real soon.